Brian here, and welcome to Slay the Spire. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where the hell is Fallout 4? Well, shh. Ah. Hello, Brian here, and welcome to Slay the Spire. Hello, Brian here, and welcome to Slay the Spire. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. You said you were going to do Fallout 4. Where the hell is Fallout 4? Um, well, only one of you is probably thinking that, if there is even one of you. Um, I'm in a bit of a hole at the minute in the headspace, so I really just... I don't want to play Fallout at the minute. I just, I, just, I just want to play something inconsequential, something that doesn't feel like a chore, so here we go. Now, if, um, if, if you've never played... Uh, um, Slay so, so the Spire before, I've never even heard of it. It's essentially, um, it's essentially a cross between games like Binding of Isaac and a card game. So, uh, you'll, 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 you'll see when, when, when we, uh... Oh, damn. Those are some pretty good buffs. Alright, let's get into it. Ho oh. ho! definitely want to go to that store. So Alright, he's vulnerable now, so I will be able to do a lot more damage to him. He's uh, applied a buff to himself, and his attack will just keep increasing over over to each turn. Uh, let's see what we get. Oh, that's, that's, you only need one apotheosis. All right, okay. several other games I was going to record today, but they just didn't want to work for me. They, 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 they refused to work. So... Do I want either of those? Definitely not Body Slam. Body Slam. Terrible card. Hmm. Now nah, we can skip those. Onward! Good, Daddy. also one of the games that I may be streaming in the uh, near future so if you, if, it, if, uh, if you are if you enjoy it then may as well stream it uh, infernal blade is better see what the mystery room is oh great we get to upgrade some stuff ow unfortunately it's random um, in, in this room. At a campfire you can upgrade things, um, you can choose what you upgrade, but here, at this random event, it's different. It's, 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 it's two cards at random. And this is always an interesting one. You can you can remove a negative, like a, something like a curse or something from your deck, transform a card that's, that's useless into a better one, or I, like I usually get debt is upgrade apotheosis. 
Apotheosis uh, allows you to upgrade every card in your deck like that for the rest of the combat, so it's quite possibly the best card in the game, so. <laughs> Hello, merchant. Please tell me you, have, you, you don't have the thing I want. Although, uh, not that I would be able to afford it. Alright, so, let's skip it. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade Infernal Blade. Um, any damage that's dealt to you is is, is it, it reduces your armor first and then uh, your health. So, and, and I'm not. And um, if if you have armor left over, it's it's just discarded uh, at the beginning of your turn. So, so. Uh, I'm not sure where this sentence was leading. dead. And I get my face caved in. Ow. Making even more vulnerable. Ah, you also um, you you can also get relics, which uh, you'll see you see will uh, will will uh, stack up along here, and these give you a variety of static bonuses. Like here, ginger, which is one of the rarer ones, uh, you can no longer become weakened, and weakened is a status effect where you deal less damage for its duration. So. Becoming immune to that is quite the blessing. Ugh. Oh, I hate that word. Ah, oh, that word always leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Ugh. Blood files decent. Some some uh, some uh, some uh, some. Uh, some um, Static healing effects are always good, like burning blood and blood vial. Let's take on another elite. Oh shit. I hate these guys. These guys always hit hard. <sighs> Apologies, I, I really don't feel like being funny today. Nice. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is why I hate them, because uh, they always have this status effect. Um, whenever I play a skill, they get to the plus two strength, which increases their increases their damage output, so... Ugh. Powers are exempt, though. And he's dead. Oh. <laughs> the Doovoo doll. Um, for each curse in your deck, you start combat with an additional one strength, which is really good. It's just, you don't always end up cursed. Let's go for the rice gum. Smithing... Do we smith something, or do we... No, I think rest, because we're around half health. So... Ooh. Ooh. What do we get? Ah. Ah. No. No. Inferno Blade, you traitorous bitch! Vulnerable. And slice your urethra. Huh. Just my luck. Well, not my luck actually, because my luck is usually shit. Uh, those two aren't particularly good, so I'll skip those. Ow. Ah. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, you don't want to know, trust me. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Will win. See, now, now that he's in this position, he has the, the buff um, Sharp Hide, which means whenever I deal damage to him, he deals damage back to me. Only a small bit, though. It's, it's, it's a bit like punching a hedgehog. Oh. Actually, I can actually do some... I actually can do some fairly decent damage this time around. Block potion. Oh! <laughs> okay, so. And... Ow! 
vulnerable again, so it takes more damage. Uh, let's see. Do we go all out with the whirlwind? Nah. Actually, mm, let's, let's grab a pommel strike. I could finish him here, but en energy potions are qu are really valuable, so. is really good in the in the long run but bludgeons so much damage <laughs> ah demon fall I, I, I love demon fall uh, a wound is just a status effect it's not a curse so but then again it is by far the best out of the three so we'll take that relic the mark of pain onwards to the city got a decent amount of gold, so let's try and find the relic at this shop. Well, the shop is out of this room, so... So, now, th th see, thanks, thanks to the Mark of Pain, I now start with uh, more energy each turn. Um, and, uh... That'll allow me to do more in a, in a single turn. Let's, drama let's dramatize this. And then hide in our shell. The Osis. thinking about something else. Uh, oh, excuse me. Right, come on. Yes! No! No! It's not the one I wanted. However, it is a very it is a very good relic to have, so I'll take it. What I was wanting was bottled lightning, which mean which would uh, mean I could take any skill in my deck and then start each game with that in hand. So apotheosis. It, that it is like the more it is the most overpowered uh, setup you can have, essentially. As far as I'm aware, but Bottle Tornado allows me to pick up power instead and have it in, the, in my starting hand every to every game. So take <laughs> that and human form. Thank you very much. <laughs> and shockwave because it's really good. <laughs> oh, these these guys are really annoying because because of the because the two abilities they have. Uh, Bar uh, barricade, which means they, that their block doesn't doesn't expire, and uh, well, unless damaged, it, it doesn't expire at the start of their turn. And uh, artifact, which means if you want to put apply debuffs to them, you have to apply three, and uh, you have to apply three, um, which are all negated, and then you can start applying them properly. So that was a terrible way of wording that, but you know what I mean. I wish I wish there was um, I, I could change to the a change to the to the character when you uh, when you become a demon. That would that would be really cool. Well, there's nothing. Yes. 
no point playing that because artifact. Unless. Nah. Play this. And this. And then. Turtle up. Ow. Oh no, I'm now frail. I'm just a frail old man. Please don't hurt me. Hmm. I don't know why I'm doing this because I've got no energy left. Ow. I would very much like that on top. Thank you. <laughs> Discard the poison. Because on this character, fire potion is far more far more useful. Twin strike is very good. And it's an it's automatic it's already upgraded, so better. <sighs> Literally does not matter which way around we do these. Closer dying, closer dying, closer dying. I don't like that at all. Uh, take that one. Flex it up. Last time I bet on the murderer. No, I bet on the owner last time and won. But I doubt that it'll happen that way again, so I'll bet on the murderer. Woo! More gold for me! Rest up, please. Oh, I am almost dead. These things are really annoying to fight because they uh, they uh, inflict inflict um, inflict uh, confused on you, which is a status effect that when whenever you draw a card, its cost is then randomized, so they become a pain in the ass to fight. So. I am 
now I am now a very confused demon. A very confused demon that does a lot of damage. Seriously, I get I get two out of the three bottles and neither of them are the one I wanted. Alright. Alright, well since we've all, we're already starting with uh, demon form in hand, let's start with twin strike in hand as well. Let's fight another elite. Ah. Uh, the Book of Stabbing. Bash someone's head to make them vulnerable, but but this thing doesn't have a head. Where am I? Where, where what am I hitting? Am I hitting the book? I I, I don't care. Even more vulnerable. Ha ha! Oh damn, they're hitting for a lot. Ow ow. Is OP with uh, with uh, bottle tornado and uh, demon form, because whenever I play a power like demon form, a random card in my hand costs zero for the turn. That is awesome. Uh, skip those. Uh, we don't have that much money, so I wouldn't be able to get the bottled lightning if they has it. So, we'll go this way and hope that one of these question marks is another merchant. Damn it! It wasn't carnage that got reduced to zero. To zero. In that case, I'll drink a potion. And he's still alive. No, he's not. Oh. I'm almost dead again. I know that was a misplay. Shut up. These guys, these guys are really annoying. They put a huge number of debuffs on you and hit for a gigantuan amount. Oh, I just 
got through that. Mm, skip those. Ow! I don't want any of potions. Uh, no merchant. Oh well, let's transform a card and see what we get. What's not particularly useful? This guy is a really tough boss, so we may this run may end up ending here, which would actually be a good thing because holy crap, I've been I've been playing for about half an hour. I think the best thing to do is just to keep hitting him and hope I kill him before he kills me. I, I, don't, I don't think defending is a good... Is a, not, not with this deck. Defending is not a good idea. Just need to keep hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting and, hitting and hope I don't die. It's really, really difficult to build a defensive deck because a lot of the time you're just not given the cards you need. Do this for six. Oh, almost got him down. Ow. Is my response dead? Oh, oh! Limit Break is so awesome in this, and uh, with de with Demon Form and and uh, and uh, Lethality. This 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 uh, modifier here taking. So too. Now I can't get any po potions, but that's fine. They're, they're rarely of you of any use in the in the beyond. Uh, where's the first merchant? Really? Right before the boss? All right. The which route has the most question marks? Because a question mark can be a merchant. Uh, looks to be up the middle and then to the left. So let's go up the middle and then to the left. Damn it! That's not what I wanted to reduce to zero. At least this way I get to not get hurt for a lot. Ow! Okay. 
Yeah, that's okay. Bloodletting is good, but... I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it for this for this particular run. And drop kick's really good, but <coughs> how often are enemies vulnerable? Actually, actually, quite quite often in this deck. So yeah, drop kick it is. These guys are annoying because whenever you hit them, they hit you back. Is a stupid, but is actually also pretty good. It's, it's, it's pretty good design. doesn't have what I need. Oh! -ho! oh! Carnage got, got, got reduced to zero. I should have done this first. But I'm, but I'm an idiot. Close left back is pretty good. I'll uh, I'll need it for the boss, most likely. Oh, let's upgrade something.
worthless. Oh well. Skip that. Ow! No, 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 no! Not Nemesis. Oh, this guy's a pain in the dick. He's such a big pain in the dick. Ah, oh, no! Not only does he hit for a lot, but he becomes intangible! Which means any time I would hit him, it is reduced to one. See? No matter how hard I hit him. <sighs> he burns me. Yeah, I think this is where we die. Maybe we don't. No, oh, yeah, we still die. Oh well. But anyway, uh, uh, yeah. Slow the Spire is a very, very difficult game, so. I would definitely recommend it to any and all of you, but be prepared for uh, some rather grindy gameplay because it is fucking hard. Anyway, uh, I am I, Fry, uh, this has been Slay the Spire, and this is a terrible outro. I shall change it for next time. Goodbye.